Recall that the definition of a linear transformation is as shown here. And at the bottom are a couple of consequences of this definition. There's one thing that is very handy that comes out of this second consequence. If x1 up to xm happen to form a basis for the vector space V, and if you know the images of these basis elements, then you can find out where T maps any element of V2. So let's look at an example. Let T be a linear transformation from R2 to R2 such that T of 1, 0 is 1, 1, and T of 1, minus 1 is 2, 1. The question is, what is T of 0, 2? We aren't given too much information here, and if there's any hope of answering this question, we would hope to be able to write 0, 2 as a linear combination of 1, 0 and 1, minus 1. And that's what we're going to try to do. So we want to write 0, 2 as alpha times 1, 0 plus beta times 1, minus 1 for some alpha and beta. This can be rewritten as 0, 2 equals alpha plus beta minus beta. And it's easy to see that we need to set beta to minus 2 and alpha to 2. So we can now write t of 0, 2 as t of 2 times 1, 0 plus minus 2 times 1 minus 1. And since t is a linear transformation, I can rewrite this as 2 times t of 1, 0 plus minus 2 times t of 1 minus 1. And we know that t of 1, 0 is 1, 1. So this is just 2 times 1, 1. And t of 1 minus 1 is 2, 1. So this is just 2, 1. And therefore we have 2 minus 4 in the first entry and 2 minus 2 in the second entry, giving us minus 2, 0. And that's the answer to the question that we have.